Shout out to the Most High God. Shout out to the Most High God. Psalms 31 says, In thee, O Lord, do I put my trust. Let me never be ashamed. Deliver me in your righteousness. Bless the Lord. Fight fans all around the world. Let's talk some boxing. So I've been hearing, I'm listening, and there's a popular consensus around certain people in the industry that premier boxing champions, one, they have all these champions, but they're not really conducting very good fights. And two, they're saying that the PBC model is not sustainable. I'm hearing this over and over again. And now when I was listening in Pound for Pound Boxing Report, I heard people talking about how if Deontay Wilder goes to the zone, you know, uh, P PBC and Showtime will be having a difficult time because their main uh, go-to people will not be there because it'll be gone to the zone. And I listened to this and I'm, I'm kind of confused a bit. I'm left in a little bit of confusion as to why show sports, for example, and the PVC would be in problems and that they're not sustainable. How many years have they been saying this now? So I decided to do this video to bring some clarity to it and then to help people to understand what the PVC is what it really was meant to do and what it is doing and also uh, to also show people that show sports is not going down the road of HBO all right show sports is not going down the road of HBO and there's a reason why HBO sports dried up and died and I'll explain all of that later all right so first of all we have different platforms show sports is just a portion of Showtime and the Showtime networks okay it's an aspect. Showtime uh, gives many different types of product. What I mean by that is there's movies, there's documentaries, and then there's sports. Show sports is just an aspect of that. And inside of show sports, there's Showbox, all right, which features young and up-and-coming fighters. And then we have Showtime pay-per-view, which deals with the mega fights. Now, Deontay Wilder is a free agent and actually has been a free agent for a very long time. He would do a contract with Show Sports, for example, and Show Box and Steven Espinoza, and they would have a fight. But he's not held down by any one platform. Now, the other platform that we know about recently is ESPN. And ESPN, their platform, again, unfortunately, if you're going to work with ESPN, it's tied to top rank. And Bob Arum really is... I told you he's a plague on boxing. I, I think of him as, as just a, a, a terrible thing. He should get out the sport of boxing now. Let Todd DeBuff to handle things from there on in. But he's still sticking around, so it is what it is. But um, ESPN is sort of partnered up with Bob Arum, as HBO had partnered up with him, and he has a good relationship with them, so that ESPN, we still have fighters from the PBC that go into ESPN, but it's a platform. Now, ESPN is a sport platform, and exclusively the cable networks, ESPN, ESPN1, ESPN2, they are dedicated to sport. Not boxing particularly, but sport. Now, zone has come to the United States of America, but zone has actually uh, it covers sports in Europe, and football, etc. It's come across the United States of America, and they're pouring in money into boxing. So if you would you know, get a prescription, get a subscription to zone. It would be too much streaming fights, right? So, um, the zone is another platform. It's a platform like Showtime, like ESPN. It's a platform on which you can uh, go and watch boxing. Now, it's very important to understand that Premier Boxing Champions is an event, but it's not necessarily a platform. That is, the PBC goes on to different networks. So like how, for instance, Show Sports or Showtime is a network, ESPN is a network, and The Zone is a streaming network. Well, Premier Boxing Channel Champions is not a network. They work with normal TV networks. PBC has worked with ESPN, it has worked with ABC, CBS, it has worked with Fox, okay? It has worked with NBC. All right, so the PBC currently is working mostly with Fox now, and through that network, which is Fox, they're going to be putting out a pay-per-view model 
probably the biggest fight for the year, Errol Spence versus Mikey Garcia. So once you understand what the PBC is, what's the purpose of the PBC? Now, unlike these other networks here, even though Show Sports does try to feature up and coming fighters, ESPN used to do that, they don't do it anymore. Um, Show Sports still limited in terms of subscription base because it's a paid for cable network. So what happens is not just cable TV. So there's a limited amount of the audience that actually will actually view. The viewership is limited. However, on network TV, uh, the viewership is much larger and there's a larger base. So Premier Boxing Champions was there to feature up and coming champions or upcoming uh, boxers with great talent so that the world could see them. And from that platform now, from that event, these people could go in different directions. Okay? And some of them go into the pay-per-view model, some of them have gone across the zone, some of them have gone across the ESPN, some of them have gone, gone to, to Showbox and Showtime. All right? So that's, that's what it is. It's a feeder for all of these other things. Now, HBO was stupid enough to try and isolate themselves from Al Heyman and, and Premier Boxing Champions. That is why HBO died out. Showtime takes a lot of feeder from the PBC fighters in the PBC event. All right? Think of Premier Boxing Champions as it, it being sort of like a, a event where all these other boxers come together. So Al Heyman's not a promoter. He's a manager. And so people will understand a manager manages your affairs. He's not there to tell you how your future should be. He can only suggest things. It's really your goals, what you want to do. The manager now tries to manage your affairs so that you can get that which you want. Like Shelly Finkel manages, for example, Deontay Wilder. So Wilder will say, well, you know what? I want this. Or I want that for my career. And Shelly Finkel now was supposed to, as a manager, try and make that happen. Get those arrangements together. Al Heyman is a manager for Deontay Wilder. So he oversees Deontay Wilder's career in terms of what Deontay Wilder wants, which is why that frees up the fighter to, to want to do whatever they want to do with their career. This is what happened with Floyd Mayweather. This is what happened with uh, uh, what's his name? For, uh, Vernon Forrest, etc., etc. Al Heyman is a manager. He's not a promoter. Now, Al Heyman was the architect of Premier Boxing Champions, but it is the promotional companies that these fighters have that actually arrange the match matches because again the legality of it is you need a promoter to do that so you'll find Lou DiBella, Mayweather Promotions, Golden Boy Promotions, Top Rank Promotions, um, uh, what, what do you call them? I forgot what, what their, their name is but you see all these all these other promotional companies have a part in Premier Boxing Champions. And then the fighters themselves may have their little smaller promotional companies that could evolve into these big promotional companies that could get licensed later on when they have fighters under their belt, etc., 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 right? So, once you understand what Premier Boxing Champion is and what it's about, now you do not equate PBC and you don't treat PBC like, say, for instance, Showtime. You do not treat it like Showtime. You don't treat it like HBO because PBC is not those things. Okay, and once you get the fact that Al Heyman's not a promoter, he's not a promoter, he's a manager, he's good at managing things, he's managing the event of the PBC, that's what he does, he's not a promoter. Once you can get that separated from your mind, he can chart a path for you as a fighter, but it's up to you. Adrian Broner, Al Heyman was again arranging a pathway for Adrian Broner. Broner said, I want the toughest fights, I want to fight the toughest people, so Al Heyman made it happen. He, sh he charted a path for Adrian Broner to do that, okay? Danny Jacobs wanted to go to the zone, so Al Heyman arranged a pathway for Danny Jacobs to do that. So Al Heyman is a manager, like Shelly Finkel, okay? When Floyd Mayweather wanted to fight Manny Pacquiao and it seemed difficult, Al Heyman made it happen, right? Again, he's not a promoter. Making it happen, he's not a promoter. Floyd Mayweather's company was the promotional company. But Al Heyman shot a path to help Floyd Mayweather get the fight with Manny Pacquiao. You understand? This difference between a manager and a promoter. Now, that we got that out of the way, show sports. Show sports is getting feed from PBC. P 
PBC constantly feeds show sports. So show, show sports is not going to disappear anytime soon. All right. The, the pay-per-view events that might happen on, sh on Showtime, uh, if Deontay Wilder were to leave Showtime, they would just replace Deontay Wilder with somebody else who would be able to do pay-per-views. And right now they're setting up Errol Spence versus Mikey Garcia, and we don't know how far that can go. That could go Showtime. That could go wherever. All right? On whatever platform. All right. Now, so now we clear about what Showtime does, ESPN, DAZN does. Now we can talk about what each of these have that makes this very interesting, all right? So, first of all, Premier Boxing Champions. If you're looking at the welterweight division, then the place to be is with Premier Boxing Champions. You'll either be on the Fox Network or you will be on Showtime, right? That's the, the feeder for Showtime. So that's why, like I said before, now you could be anywhere. You could be anywhere. You could leave PBC and go somewhere else and, and do some other deal. But the majority of guys are in the PBC. So newest addition was Marcos Maidana very recently. But you got, I mean, all the top tier uh, welterweights are there. Errol Spence Jr., Manny Pacquiao, Keith Thurman, Sean Porter, Danny Garcia. Okay? Uh, we got Marcos Maidana that just entered the fray. Andre Berto's there. Josecito Lopez. Mikey Garcia, if I didn't mention his name before. All right? All the premier guys, okay? Now, I'll show you how flexible PBC is. Amir Khan was a PBC fighter. And he is, he's going to be fighting, fighting Terrence Crawford on ESPN pay-per-view, okay? Terrence Crawford, on the other hand, is a top rank. And unfortunately, once you, may, once you mention the name Bob Arum, you have difficulties right there. So... I was listening to someone, I can't remember who it was on Pound for Pound, saying how Sean Porter, he just didn't even mention Terrence Crawford's name. He didn't mention Terrence Crawford's name because that's a hard fight to make. It's a hard fight to make because of Bob Arum. Bob Arum has a history of letting his fighters face in-house, his fighters, tough rank. He has a history of that. Ask Mikey Garcia. That's why Mikey Garcia knows, he said, I, I ain't going to get no fight with Lomachenko. Cause I gotta deal with I gotta deal with this dude Bob Arum, and we already didn't have a good we had a fallout with Bob Arum, so I, I don't I don't see myself Bob Arum is a problem. Get rid of Bob Arum out of boxing, and we'll have it easier. Todd DeBuff, free him up so he can he can get Terence Crawford to get the fights. Nobody's ducking or dodging Terence Crawford. Nobody in the welterweight division. It's just easier to make fights with guys who are PBC fighters. There's nothing. It's gonna be easy to make those fights. Like Eris Spence said, it was easy to make a fight with Mikey Garcia. And it just proves Mikey Garcia is a contemporary of Terrence Crawford. Mikey Garcia gets the fight with Errol Spence. Terrence Crawford can't get the fight with Errol Spence. Why? Bob Arum. How many times do I have to tell you people? Bob Arum's the problem. Right? And I'm surprised that these people will go on talking about, oh, literally punking. The people in the PBC by saying, oh, they don't want to fight Terrence. It's not that they don't want to fight Terrence. It's that Bob Arum doesn't want Terrence to fight those guys. He wants Terrence to fight another dud. Amir Khan came all the way across to face Terrence Crawford, right? Amir Khan's fought on HBO a number of times. He fought Canelo, got his ass knocked out. Now, we all know Amir Khan is more than likely going to get knocked out by Terrence Crawford, right? I don't care how much bigger he is. His chin is the same, right? But the point is, Amir Khan was a PBC fighter. He's still managed by Al Heyman. So, Bob Arum has no evidence to show that Terrence Crawford is making an effort to fight a PBC fighter. Instead, a PBC, former PBC fighter, still managed by Al Heyman, is coming across to face Terrence Crawford. So, Bob Arum can't tell me that it's hard to make a fight with Al Heyman because he's, he's working with Al Heyman right now with Amir Khan to face Terrence Crawford. On his platform. Okay? I don't know if Amir Khan had to sign some tough rank deal or not. I don't know what's going on with that. But at the end of the day, he doesn't want to make fights with Al Heyman. Al Heyman had to come across to HBO with the Lomachenko versus uh, uh, Gary Russell Jr. Al Heyman's always had to come across and make deals with, uh, 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 with Bob Arum. It's never the other way around. All right? So Bob Arum, you get rid of Bob Arum from boxing, you really make things easier.
for, for negotiations to happen. All right? Anyway, in the welterweight division, this is what it is. It's stacked. All right? We also got uh, Andre Berto. We got uh, Samuel Vargas. We got Thomas DeLorme. All these people are... Well, Thomas DeLorme is with the zone now. And I think... Uh, I think... Uh, so it's like Jesse Vargas with the zone as well, right? The zone is like the modern day HBO. The people who were on HBO they started going to the zone. Louis Collazo is also across in the, in the PBC and a number of other fighters. The point anyway is and and Kel Brook I don't know where Kel Brook is. I don't know if he's a PBC or he's going to be the zone. I don't know. But my point being, if you're a welterweight, you don't want to not be with PBC or the PBC fighters because you're going to let to hang and dry. The best welterweights in the world are in PBC, minus Terrence Crawford. And that's his problem. He's going to be left to hang out and dry out there. And he's going to, what we call, clout, he going to clout chase. He's going to be calling all the PBC fighters' names and they're going to fight another dud, right? Amir Khan is left those. Everybody knows that, right? Amir Khan wouldn't face the PBC. Amir Khan didn't face Sean Porter because he knows he's going to get his ass knocked out. He didn't face Keith Thurman because he knows he's going to get his ass knocked out. He was chasing, he was cloud chasing Manny Pacquiao. Pacquiao's with the PBC now. He ain't facing Errol Spence. He's not even facing Kell Brook. He preferred to get his ass knocked out by Terrence Crawford. Okay? And that's just what it is. It's what it is. Been ducking and dodging. Right? We also got in PBC fighters Adrian Granados. All right? So, Jeff Horn, I don't know where Jeff Horn going to be. Teflon's still a top rank. Well, we had some dealings with top rank or whatever. So when you're talking welterweight division, ladies and gentlemen, the big pay-per-view event that's going to happen on Fox with Errol Spence versus Mikey Garcia, and probably the biggest fight event of the year, all right, is on PBC, okay? So they, the PBC model is not going down anywhere. Showtime's still going to have some great fights on it and some mega fights. And as to people saying, oh, well, you know, we're not seeing the best fights with all of this talent. Well, you got exhibition fights and feature fights. Manny Packard just faced Adrian Broner. That was a big fight. Errol Spence Jr. is facing Mikey Garcia. This is one that defies imagination and gets all the imaginations going. That's why everybody's talking about it. All right. And then we got a series of other big fights for the rest of the year. It's just the way it is. All right. Now, the zone. The zone. The cool thing about the zone is it's stacked when it comes to the middleweight division. All right. The PBC, they got almost all the best <laughs> super welterweights out there. Tony Harrison's on the PBC. Jared Hurd is on the PBC. Brian Carlos Castano's on the PBC. Jared uh, uh, Jaime Munguia is on the PBC. Julian Williams is on the PBC. Arizona Lara is on the PBC. Jamel Charlo's on the PBC. Julian Williams is on the PBC. You know what I'm saying? PBC, baby. Austin Trout's on the PBC. All right? You got, you got all, almost a, all the best top-tier junior middleweights or super welterweights on the PBC. It's the place to be. The PBC. You know what I'm saying? All right. So, I'm not finished. There's more, but we'll get to it. Then you got the middleweight division. Now the middleweight division, that's where the zone reigns supreme. When it comes to the middleweight division, the zone got it. So they got Saul Canelo Alvarez. They got uh, Daniel Jacobs. They got Demetrius Andre. Now they got Gennady Golovkin. You know, uh, I'm, I'm pretty sure they'll get Billy Joe Saunders. They might get him. Oh no, no, he'll be with ESPN actually. He'll be with ESPN. Yeah, so 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 most of the top tier middleweights are with the zone. Only Jamal Chalo is not with the zone, and that don't mean nothing. I mean, he may fight on the zone, but we'll see what happens. He's the only guy that's out there, and he's stuck in PBC line right at the present moment. So we'll see what happens with that. David Lemieux, I think, is with the zone as well. So that's very very good. Now, what we're looking at. When we're looking at uh, the heavyweight division, that's a very interesting division. That's a very interesting division. So this is how it goes. Deontay Wilder, I, I'm not quite sure where he's going to be, so that's interesting. Anthony Joshua's with the zone, as far as I do know. All right. Tyson Fury's with ESPN. Luis Ortiz is with the PBC. 
Dominic Brazil, I think he's either with the Zone or the PVC. I'm not too sure. Joseph Parker was with ESPN, HBO, that kind of thing. Um, the other top tech, Dillian White, he's not with any network right now. So that's very interesting. They say he might co go across to ESPN, so we'll see. Jarrell Miller, he's with the Zone. All right? And that's about it for the top tier heavyweights. So it's spread out. You got some on the PVC side, you got some on Showtime side, you got some on ESPN side, you got some on the zone side. And people are saying the heavyweight division is the division you gotta have the heavyweight division. Well, I'm just saying there's a lot more other divisions than that. Now, when you're looking at the light heavyweight division, it's spread out again, right? So, if I'm not mistaken, Gavordic and BWF, I know BWF is with uh, BWF is with PBC, right? Kovalev, I think he's with. Well, I'm not sure. I think he's with the zone. Is he with the zone? I think he's with the zone. Bivol's with the zone, and Gavorsdick, I'm not too sure if he's with ESPN or PBC or who, but it's spread out. Marcus Brown is with PBC. Um, Jack Badu Jack is with PBC um, on Showtime. Joe Smith Jr. was with, is with the Zone, right? So they they kind of spread out in terms of platform, not promotional company now, because that's important for you guys to understand. Promotional company wise, they may be with, with different promotional companies. Which so 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 this could work out quite well, but again, it's spread out in the light heavyweight division, right? In the super middleweight division. This is an interesting division. I'm not gonna lie to you. It's an interesting division. Anthony Durrell is with PBC. Callum Smith is not with anybody. So Canelo Alvarez is with the Zone. Caleb Plant is with PBC. And then we have Chris Eubank Jr. He's not with anybody right now. Caleb Truax is with PBC. David Lemieux, I don't know where he's with. Um, Jesse Hart is with Top Rank at ESPN. Rocky Fielding, I guess he's with the zone. So it's spread out a little bit. David Lemieux, he's probably with ESPN. Um, so it, it's spread out a bit again. But again, you can have two championship fights. You can have Caleb Plant versus Anthony Durrell. Since Callum Smith is not with any American company, he could be bidded with either you know PBC or uh, you know on Fox or on Showtime, or it could end up being under the zone. You know, or ESPN. But since most of the top tier guys, uh, and Chris Eubank Jr. as well, since the top tier guys are with PBC, it would make sense for him to face on key PBC, unless Saul Canelo Alvarez wants to face him, in which case you use the zone. So it's, it's all dependent on so many different factors, to be honest with you. Right? So, as you can see, the PBC um, holds two divisions strongly in their hands. The zone holds one division strongly in their hands. And then you have other divisions out there. Like, for instance, the super lightweight division. Maurice Hooker versus... Uh, Maurice Hooker, the WBO um, champion, he's with the PBC. Um, Jose Ramirez and Reggie Progress, I don't know who they're with. You guys might, might know. Pablo Sergio Connors with the uh, zone. I'm sorry, Pablo Sergio Connors with PBC. Sergio Olympus was with PBC. Um, Raimundo Beltran, he's probably with the zone. So th this is this is the people. Chris Algieri is with PBC, right? So you know, it's it's just interesting how it's kind of spread out. Lightweight division is an interesting division. It's an interesting division. Mikey Garcia is with the PBC. Luke Campbell, he's he's not with anybody. Anthony Corolla with uh, ESPN because he's gonna face Vasily Lomachenko. Jose Pedraza, he's right now top rank fighter, but he was with uh, Adrian Broner. I'm sorry, he was with the PBC. Javier Fortuna, PBC. Teofima Lopez, top rank and therefore ESPN. Devin Haney is with PBC. 
Uh, Robert Easter Jr. is with PBC. Francis Ptolemy is with PBC. Uh, Jorge Linares. I'm not too sure where she is with. Is with. If he's with the zone, or if he's with PBC, I'm not too sure. Or with or with ESPN. Right? So this is an interesting division, which in which Richard Comey, I think, is with with uh, the English people. So he, he's not with any of the, the, the platforms we just mentioned. Maybe he'll be doing it on ESPN. And in the Super Featherweight division, Tevin Farmers with the zone, Javante Davis is with PBC. Miguel Bel Belichet and Masa Masayuki Ito. I'm not too sure which um, which 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 networks they're with. Um, but uh, yeah, the featherweight division. We got Leo Santa Cruz is with PBC and Gary Russell Jr. Oscar Valdez. He's probably with either ESPN or the Zone. I'm not too sure which one. And Josh Warrington, Kid Gallahan. Kid Gallahan and Josh Warrington there with uh, English networks like BT and stuff, so I'm not too sure. Joseph Diaz is with Golden Boy, and Golden Boy, they had, uh, they may be with Jazone, or they may be with ESPN. <sighs> okay. Right? Guillermo Rigondeaux. Who's back at Super Bantamweight? Guillermo Rigondeaux. Uh, Guillermo Rigondeaux is with PBC now. Good for him. Uh, Jesse Magdalena, who got smoked by Teofimo Lopez. He's with ESPN. And we got a bunch of other people here. Okay, and then we have here. The featherweight division. I'm gonna stop at bantamweight. Sorry. So Nonito Donair. I'm not too sure. Nyoa Inu. I don't know what networks these guys are with. They may be with BT or some British network right now. Then you have Zolani Tate, Emmanuel Rodriguez, Nordin Obali. Honestly, I can't say. Louis Neri. He's going to be fighting on. I do believe it's the Zone. So this will be the Zone. Juan Carlos Piano was with the zone so some of these are the zone fighters all right all right so i'm gonna stop right there so there's a spread but by and large pbc takes up two divisions clearly and the zone takes up one division clearly so the zone is really hey you got almost all the middleweights except for one which would be jamal charlo jamal charlo sorry and PBC has almost all the super welterweights, except for probably Jaime Mangia. And almost all the welterweights, except for Terrence Crawford. Right? So when you see that, now it gives you a perspective. So you can know, okay, you know, all this talk about PBC and Showtime fading and it doesn't a good business model. That's not true. By the way, PBC, the event... It's just like how you would do any season of any television show. You're paid for the season. So, like, for instance, the network, Fox, would put out all this money uh, towards the PBC uh, event. And then fighters get paid from the events as they win their fights, etc. So that's how that works. It's not, you know, like Showtime where you look at how many subscribers or whatever and... Um, they offer a purse from there based on the event and stuff. No, it's a little different. So it is a sustainable model, regardless of what people say. All right? So I hope that this educates you guys a little bit on these platforms and stuff that fighters have. I'm so grateful. They're in a, be they're in a better position than they ever were before.